Hello everyone, I'm re-recording this video because uh, my original video had the uh, music on it so I had to record this very quick. So here I have a watch Samsung Gear S3 and this watch is uh, locked to a Google account and uh, we need to remove this Google account, it's called re reactivation lock removal. So for this uh, you need to follow some steps and I'm sure you can unlock this. So you can unlock the uh, Samsung S2 and S3 uh, both watch. So follow the uh, steps. So here are the steps. First step is uh, you will need to be able to put your watch in download mode. Or download wireless mode or download mode. So download wireless mode is a mode you can connect your watch wirelessly. But if sometimes this option is not appear in your reboot menu, so you need to put in download mode uh, which is a wired connection see more details on the links on description it will take you to a page they will explain you in details how you can connect the samsung watch s2 and s3 to your computer by wired connection so second step is connecting your watch into computer this is also a little bit it's easy but sometimes it gives you a hard time because you need to turn off the windows firewall and antivirus protection so after you turn off that you will see your wireless connection of watch uh, in your Wi-Fi list and third step is flushing your watch by combination file after you connect the watch to computer you will format or flush your watch by combination file and uh, then flushing back original firmware to your watch so these are the steps we will follow in this uh, video so one thing uh, you need to remember also one thing you need to know is you need to have the files to unlock your watch so you need to have combination files and you need to have unlocking files and you need to have firmware files so for that you need to go to electrobo.com website go to shopping on the left side bar click on the something here click on the watch so here you see there are uh, it gives you Samsung uh, reactivation package uh, it gives you option to many watch you need to look uh, look at the back of your watch and select the right model if your model is 760 you need to select SM dash or 760 if your watch model is SM dash or 730 you need to select this one you can't select wrong model uh, other model for your watch so because it will not work each watch has its own files and its own unlocking files so if my watch is r760 i click r760 and add this to my basket i will and i will receive an automatic email and uh, that email will contain links and i can download files from those links uh, or if I can log in and register on to website and access my files from um, my dashboard. So here, what I receive with email, I receive firmware files, I receive combination files, I receive unlocking files, I receive net Odin files. So there are supported models they support, and you need to have done if uh, the downloads fails and if the download is corrupted and you can't extract it might be because of because of uh, your internet might not be stable maybe it's not in stable connection you need to use download manager so if you have download manager use that if it fails and files all files are zipped uh, with the raw format so you need to have a WinRAR application installed to extract them and all files are password protected so the password of them is electrobo.co.uk some of the files have might have different password electrobo.com but most of them has electrobo.co.uk and this is the instruction to put your watch into download mode and some other instruction you can follow and watch them so after you click the, click the right model add to basket and check out or after you did that you receive an email or if you open an account with them you can just click put your email and password and register and or you can log in by after you place the 
files you can log in and access the and access the files from your dash min, dashboard or from downloads from downloads menu you can download files and you can have uh, them in your computer if you don't receive email you can have them here i'm sure you will receive an email uh, they might be in your junk folder or spam folder if you don't see them on in your inbox so everyone here first step uh, you need to turn off your watch and uh, after that you turn off your watch you need to turn it back on by press on holding the power button until uh, you see the reboot menu and then after you see the reboot menu you need to keep pressing and so you will get to reboot menu and from the reboot menu you can press the home button and keep pressing until you highlight the wireless download mode when you highlighted the wireless download mode you can uh, hold and press the home key so you will go to wireless download mode here you need to press twice the home button so you will change to ap mode um, and then it will be ready to connect to your computer so these are the step follow them so you will be able to put your watch into download wireless mode some of the watch might not have the wireless download mode option so in that case as i said before you need to follow the link on the description uh, to it will show you how to put your watch into how to connect your watch to computer here i received all the files on the in a windrow folder windrow files uh, format i installed the windrow application and unzip them it might ask you for the password which is uh, given to you uh, so after you unlock that you will receive uh, for the package with the all files like combination file uh, like firmware files like other files need uh, we need them like wi-fi odin and other uh sdb folder or sdb files you need these to unlock your watch so first thing we need to do after we put our watch into download mode you need to come to wi-fi connections and you see your watch name here as uh, your watch model click on it and it will connect to your watch wi-fi after it connect to wi-fi you need to open wi-fi net odin when you open wi-fi net odin it will show up your watch ip address in the wi-fi net odin on the ip section if it doesn't it means there is a problem with connection uh, something is blocking that it can be your antivirus firewall or when microsoft windows firewall you need to disable your microsoft windows firewall so i have an antivirus installed and it doesn't let me connect to my watch so what right click on easy the smart security and say pause firewall connection after i do that what happens i need a wi-fi i mean an ip address show up in my uh, odin so it means my watch is connected and i show up an ip address on my watch it means my watch is my watch is fully connected to my computer so that ip address on the odin on the, in the watch shows we are connected so now i can load up combination file first so click on ap go to uh, combination file click on combination folder and file um, let it load up and then click on start after you click on start it will flush the watch by combination file make sure your watch is fully charged at least above 15 percent uh, this process might some may, might take some time like five minutes so it depends on your connection speed and it depends on the file size it depends on the communication 
so after some time your watch uh, will be flushed with combination file and we will continue with that so everyone here uh, it says pulse it means our watch is connected I mean watch is flush with combination file so what next needs to be done is we need to have access to our watch you can disconnect your Wi-Fi or okay now we are in the watch and I show letters with the yellow color you need to press the top button and then press on the setting now we are in the other step click on the setting find your Wi-Fi connection setting uh, go to connections from the connection you need to turn on the Wi-Fi click on the Wi-Fi click on the turn on always on and click on on here you will see list of Wi-Fi connect find your Wi-Fi name SSID or Wi-Fi name and put your password connect your watch to your local Wi-Fi so after you connected your watch to Wi-Fi you need to go to uh, you need to click on it you need to go to status and you need to click find out the IP address we need this IP address this is my IP address your IP address will be same so note this IP address we will need this IP address to connect to your watch later so next thing is click on uh, top button go to settings go to settings about gear and go and find debugging mode turn on and on, turn on the debugging mode if it's on so leave it on or my, you can make it off and on again so this way yeah like I mean you need to make sure it's on so back to computer uh, we need to go to SDB folder if you have one go to SDB folder right click on a file called edit IP and run dot back right click on it and click on edit so when you right click on that file uh, and click on edit so what happens you see codes here yeah, these are your codes what you need to do you need to just change the IP address so just change the IP address okay just a minute on after you change the IP address in same time uh, open ansi con dot exe open that and write down the codes from that notepad file to this black window you can save the notepad file with new IP address and double click on it that's what you need to do but if you can't do that just change the, uh, change the IP address on the notepad copy the codes one by one in the ansi con dot exe black window just click uh, paste these codes line by line and then it will show you first code is uh, sdb connect your ip address uh, make sure you have the port number after your ip address you see i did not put a port number on the first command so it didn't connect so i'm um, here i'm rewriting sdb connect um, okay anyway okay you have two options you can change the IP address save the uh, codes with new IP address and then double click on the edit IP run bat file or copy the codes from that file to black window and it will work if it doesn't you need to make sure you like you're in the same Wi-Fi you need to make sure if it doesn't work restart it try again and I'm sure it will work okay do not use the codes uh, from the website because they will not work each website each watch has its own codes each uh, watch has 
its own file so uh, it might not work if you just copy and paste code from a website just uh, use the codes sent to you by email or send you uh, on your dashboard use those codes okay, after you place the all codes your watch will restart and reactivation lock will be off if it's not off you need to review the codes and see what's the, what's what is causing the issue so here you see reactivation lock is off So next step is we need to turn off our watch and restore our watch uh, again we need to follow the same step put our watch in download wireless mode and flush the firmware so you know how to put your watch into into download wireless mode uh, and then turn on the AP by double clicking same procedure to flush your watch by firmware files as we did for combination file so from the Wi-Fi list select your watch Wi-Fi open Odin okay connect to Okay, here I see IP address, so it means there is no problem with connection. Click on BL button, go to firmware, load up BL, click on AP, load up AP file, and click on CSC, and then load up CS file. Our job is done here. We just removed the reactivation lock. Now we are going to uh, add the firmware files. So that's it. That's easy four or five step to remove the reactivation lock from your watch and it's easy to do you just need to use files and instruction to unlock your watch so here um, the so here the firmware installation is finished just uh, sh your watch will restart and it will ask you to download it an application in your watch and after it called Samsung Gear application after you downloaded that uh, your watch will connect to your phone and it will be fully unlocked and it will be ready to use it's already unlocked you just need to use it thank you very much for watching this video please press the like button if you liked it and share and subscribe.